was, one word would be intimidating. All the girls just seeing everyone all done up and everyone's practicing and it was really, really exciting. 214 had something there. Definitely had something. It's my first time actually trying out, so I enjoyed every moment of it. I'm gonna call the numbers that are advancing to the next round. 206, 214. Getting this far, I couldn't ask for anything more than that. I couldn't have done better. There was one time when I slipped a little bit, but I got back into it. But I really, honestly, I did my best, and I couldn't have given it any more than I did today. Yeah, thank you. I have my new favorite. New yep. favorite. 50, 51. I guess it's not kicked in yet. All the other girls are like, oh, I'm just gonna go back to my apartment and party. And I'm like, I have to go to school in the morning, like, because I was still in high school. I gotta get up at uh, seven and go to school and, you know, go to class and stuff. Oh, you, bye, you guys. See ya. Bye. So exciting. We are in Woodshop construction class. Not feeling the goggles right now. I don't not part of my wardrobe, but. <laughs> I took it because my ex-boyfriend was in there, but not with him anymore, so. <laughs> I'm a woodcutter during the day and cheerleading at night. <laughs> That's the philosophy that we talked about, carpe diem. It says make the most of your time. You don't waste it. The best description I could say of my experience with this whole thing is just to take everything in and to remember everything and just to hold it all in forever. Carpe Diem sees the day. It's gonna be hectic, but I'm ready for it. I'm a people person, so I'm used to talking to people and if they ask me questions, I'll answer them, so. <laughs> Are you going to school right now? Yes, I'm in high school. I'm a senior this year. Okay, so tell us, what do you plan to do once you graduate? Well, I was planning on going to Tampa Community College. Okay. Just doing like a business class. She is still a little young, but I think she is just willing to do this and give it all that she can, and she's so excited. When I went in for my final audition, the music that I had on a CD was my solo music from my dance studio last year. And on the way there, the CD had snapped in my bag. So last minute, I put a CD that I just had in the car and I put it in and I made something up in my head. I had some tumbling and turning and dancing. I've done my best and that's all I can do, but I feel pretty confident. I tried my hardest, so we'll see how it goes. Do you love Tiffany as much as I love Tiffany? 